Hey everybody, John Abdo here, author of Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. Hey, I made the USA Today bestseller list this past week, and I have to thank all of you who made the purchase. So thank you so much. I had no idea <laughs> that that was something that was accomplishable, accomplishable, B-U-L-L -L, maybe, uh, Milo lifting the bull. Uh, just to give you a little background, uh, I've been studying Milo my whole entire life. My father introduced me to Milo, which you'll read about in the about the author. Uh, when I was very young, I was born in '55. My father started training in the '40s. Uh, he had really impressive 18-inch arms. He's a really muscular, strong guy. The gym, as he called it, was his private uh, sanctum, sanctuary, and uh, but I would watch him. So by the time I was five, six years of age, I would watch him write, write down his uh, workouts in his little ledger, his journal, and, you know, he would just make incremental increases, and I said, you know, why don't you just go to the heavyweight, Dad, you know, uh, you know, just put all the weights on. He says, no, your body needs to adapt like Milo adapted to carrying the bull. Obviously, I had a billion questions for my father, which he answered most of them. The ones he didn't answer, I had to find out later in life as the mystique of Milo kept germinating in my mind, but Milo, uh, according to many historic accounts, even the historians who do not, do not necessarily like Milo, uh, would say, well, what good is all that strength? You can carry a bull around or whatever. The ones who are criticizing him, sort of criticizing him for being a strong man, all brawn but no brains, kind of like uh, Hercules was known the same way. But you'll find out in Wolves of Croton just how brainy uh, Milo really is. But some accounts say Milo carried a bull, other accounts say Milo carried an oxen. <laughs> Major difference, maybe like 500 to 1,000 pounds difference. And I remember, I think it was in Eddie Cohn's, uh, Eddie has been sharing this with, uh, with his followers on Instagram. So thank you, Eddie, for that. But one of the questions was, isn't a bull kind of fluctuous and always kicking around? You know, how, how did Milo uh, steady the animal on his back? Well, I talk about, you know, how he started lifting it and what he had to do in order to continue to lift it. But just that fact alone, going from a bull to an oxen, an oxen is a castrated bull that's a lot more docile, so maybe it wasn't as flexuous or, you know, just like kicking around or whatever. I wrote this book for myself. It was one of the passions of mine. Uh, what my father didn't tell me, I was able to go to brick and mortar back in the 60s and 70s and 80s, you know, going into the library and finding books and flipping through there. I'd find things on, you know, ancient Greek history, ancient Olympiads, many of the cultures that were present during the 6th century BC. And as I was gathering all that information, I said, wow, you know, it's become a cool movie someday, right? And then the 90s come along and all of a sudden now I have access to the internet. It changed everything. It just allowed me, instead of going to brick and mortar, I could just put in a word search and, you know, I'd be able to find a lot of topics. So that would uh, prove to accelerate uh, the actual writing of the book. And then maybe like eight years ago, I said, you know, let me write a movie script. I'm not a movie script writer, so I had to, you know, go on YouTube and seek tutorials on how to write a movie script. And as I'm writing this movie script, I'm thinking to myself, well, who are these people? Where do they live? What's the topography? You know, what's what's the ideology? What god or gods do they do they honor? Who are their friends? Who are their foes? Who are their really dire adversaries? And I says, heck, I got to write a book in order to write the script, and that's what this has turned out to. Uh, Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. It's packed with a lot of different stories. The bottom message is about struggle, survival, and success. The ancients called the word agon is their, their pursuit for greatness, to endure the struggle, endure the pain, endure the doubt, and and become successful. And Milo is the epitome of that. And Milo's got some great teammates too, which I introduce you to, some really great coaches, which I introduce you to. Uh, you meet his parents, uh, his grandparents, all the different gods and demigods, Romulus and Remus, were reared by wolves, the Roman twins. Milo, <laughs> you can tell by the, by the title, Wolves of Croton, I won't, I won't get into detail, but Milo has a relationship with the wolves, obviously with his pet bull. That said, uh, I don't want to just leave these explanations and me posting pictures of the book 
for you to say, oh yeah, I want to read that book. Uh, I'm, I'm encouraging you to ask me questions. I, I'm, I'm really happy to talk about it. But if you're interested in learning more, asking questions, what's in the book, I can't go into detail because I want you to buy the book. But the goal is to turn it into a movie. The number one actor would be who? <laughs> who played Hercules? Milo is known as the second coming of Hercules. They talked about him as a god, his powers, his strengths, his ability to, to defeat the toughest men in the world. Uh, so Dwayne Johnson, I would really like to have Dwayne Johnson play this part because he played Hercules and here comes like what, like a thousand years later or whatever, and all of a sudden Milo comes back. So it'd be perfect for him. And then all the characters, there's 140 plus characters in this book. Some appear just once, but some are in the uh, book throughout the contexture of the, uh, of the treatise here. There are some really cool people, athletes, who become athlete soldiers. So spread the word, because I know Dwayne Johnson, he's got the Titan Games, he's, he's a, a lifting fanatic, he's tied into all these cross training and strength training and weight training people. So Dwayne Johnson would, uh, would play Milo. So if you know Dwayne, or you can get this to, to Dwayne, say, hey Dwayne, this is a bestseller, USA Today bestseller. It's a great story. It should be a mini series, uh, preferably like, uh, like maybe six different episodes. But it's a wonderful story or stories, and I think you'll be truly inspired by it. But man, thanks again. USA Today bestseller list on Amazon. I'm number one in wrestling, ancient Greek philosophy, historical fiction, historical military fiction, all those different categories. I had no idea I would get myself to this point. But the ultimate goal, Dwayne Johnson has to play Milo, and I want to make sure that I answer your questions and this book gets into your hands, into your mind, into your heart, because I guarantee it'll make you stronger, greater people. Thanks so much. I can't wait to read and answer your questions. <laughs>